Well, couldn't ask for a better day. We're up here in Mayo for the first wild camp in Ireland. So uh, we're going to enjoy this. And uh, this is thanks to um, Anne Murphy, who I actually seen on uh, YouTube. And she's a great one for uh, wild camping. So uh, thank you, Anne. This is, this is going to be lovely. Plenty of wood, lots of water, beautiful sunshine, and a mad dog. So again, thanks, Anne Murphy. And I'm going to get set up. Let's get to work. Hard work with this one here. All she's interested in is... Yeah, exactly. I've got a wee bit of wood at the moment, but I'm still for a rest. It's blazing hot, but I've got the tent up. Yeah, tent is up. It's just a wee cheapy tent. Um, got this in Glasgow, uh, but I've used it for years. I don't know how old this tent is now. The tent must be. Well, she must be going on ten years. She's just starting to let in a little bit of water on the ground sheet, but apart from that, she's grand. Had her in the snow, storms, rain. I've always been dry inside, so for a cheap tent, that's not too bad. And then I bought this tarpaulin here. I don't know what size it is, it's about, I think it's 13 foot square. So it's always handy as a, as a porch, lean to. I'm not up to a lot of your guys, your standards. I've not invested in a hammock or I don't really intend to sleep under a tarp either, but I might try it one day. Anne Murphy does a good job on hers. I'm sure a lot of you guys do. Also new to the flock, I bought this. I'll lay it out here so you can see it. This here is a very nice axe. Grants for Brook from Sweden. Some carbon steel, which is razor sharp. As you can see, that's the guy that actually forged the steel. So she's razor sharp. And another compliment. I bought this as well. I don't know if it's a bushcraft knife or what you would call it, but uh, this is a carbon steel blade. I don't know if you can see it from here. Carbon steel blade. Very hard birch handle, small pommel on the top. The finger guard is actually an extra, uh, and this is called a Sami knife. And it comes from the Sami people um, north of Norway. Uh, a good friend of mine, Peter Nardle, he's from north of Norway. He put me in touch with these guys. And this is a beast of a knife. And the reason it has the finger guard. This is the only knife in their range that has the finger guard. Um, that was made for the mil their military. It's very handy to have a finger guard because when your finger slips on this sort of steel, you lose your finger. And all she's interested in is stones and sticks. So we're going to have a wee rest. Absolutely fantastic day. Gorgeous day here in Mayo. And it is, as I said, before, it's my first wild camp in Ireland. Because of the, uh, I wouldn't say the rules and regulations in Ireland, but it, it can be a bit, I thought it was going to be really tricky to camp here. There's so many, so much private land. But, uh, you just rely on nice people. Put you in touch with what's going on. Absolutely. What a day. Doesn't get much better than this. Well, oh, one other thing. You know what it's like when you're out? It's sunny. There's no breeze. 
there's water, there's forest. Forest is a wee bit damp. So what does that give you? Bloody mosquitoes. Midges. Coming from Scotland, I have the very thing here. They never ever bother me, ever. I don't know if you can see that. Skin so soft from Avon. Never be another midget bite today. So that's it for the moment. Grab a smoke, have, have something to drink, and uh, get ready, get a fire ready. If this one lets me uh, gather some stones and wood, sit down. Now lie down. I wish it was that obedient all the time. So I'll talk to you guys later when I'm a bit more organised. Thanks for Let it catch. It's quarter past two. What time is it? Quarter past two? Is it? Oh. Yeah, so. We've a wee dark cloud up there. I mean, plenty of wood around here. It's really, really nice. I've not seen a soul since I've been here. I've seen nobody. So that's actually quite good. That's what we're here for. Is that what we're here for? Oi. Yeah. Those reeds are lovely over there, look. Really nice. It's really good once you get a fire on the go, though, then you know you're set, you know. A few wee issues here, I'll show you. Uh, I don't really use a tarp very much, but uh, I've got this pole here. A couple of ropes holding it. Hope to hell it doesn't get that windy tonight. Tents there, obviously. Central pole here. I just look, use these clips, a paracord, a bungee rope. But uh, if anybody has got any tips for me, tell me because I know it's not the ideal um, setup. That's just pegged down there onto the ground. We makeshift. Not quite a Boy Scout, it's not, but so it's got, we're going to be dry, that's the main thing. We're going to be dry, but it would be nice to um, have a bit more tension on the old uh, tarp. I'm getting a bit smoked out here. So, once the old fire, once she starts going, we'll be rare. A wee great in there for uh, cooking. Lola's bed. Oh, sorry, this is Lola. Lola, hey, oi. Not interested. Say hello. No response. So, yep, this is Lola. This is her first time out of the house. As you can see, that's her name. Never been out of the house for a night. So it'll be interesting to see how she gets on tonight. And the water here is really, it's really, really clear. Make a lovely wee fridge. The water is just so clear. I'm 
imagine there must be some good fishing if you had a little boat. Must be some perch or pike or whatever it is. I'm not really a fisherman. So, yeah. That's us. I'm going for a beer. Too much zoom there. <sighs> She'll take. It just takes time. Oh. Sorry about my uh, lack of photography skills here, but uh, can't be good at everything. Chili burgers for lunch. Somebody's waiting on their lunch. Hey, she's just had it. You had something nice, have you? Have you had something nice? Yes. And so has Daddy. Stock up in the old wood for tonight. The axe is working quite well actually. I've been using that uh, splitting technique that I've seen on YouTube as well. So take this small one, hit it in the middle, split all the wood, and that really did the job to get the fire going. The fire was sort of struggling a wee bit, but uh, I don't seem to be struggling now. YouTube, gotta love it. It's only quarter past three. And that rain cloud there's passed by. A couple of spits of rain, that was it. Is that right? A couple of spits of rain. So like that of a brew. Plenty of water. Edges are starting to come out now. What do you want? Get it. That's all she does. Stones and sticks. Right. Get some tea. Catch you later. Well, as you can see, I took the tarpaulin off. It was just too noisy. Now the weather's good. It's a bit of a breeze. But the breeze was making a hell of a noise on the tarpaulin, so I took it off.
so like that. Here's to wild camping in Ireland. No more water for you. No. <laughs> yes. It's all fun. It's all fun. Is it? It's all fun. It's all fun. <laughs> We're having a mental. Easy. 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 Jesus. Easy. Hey, come here. No. Hey. Christ, come on. Lola, calm down. Nuts. Who's nuts? So we've got a long fire on. So the idea is, quite obviously, just keep feeding it from one end. A fair wee heat off it as well. Hey, get out of the water. Serene, isn't it? Just serene. I've just spotted something hanging from the tree and I have no idea how that got up there. How did a tent peg get up there? I have no idea. See there's a tarpaulin.
no idea how that got up there. Are you getting to do with this? Oi. Excuse me. She's not admitting anything. So the wee burgers were nice with a cup of coffee. And, yeah. It's been so long since I've camped. The last time I camped was in Glen Nevis in Scotland. That was a nice spot as well, but this is a... Uh, just beautiful. So I'll have to um, hone my photographic skills, won't I? Is that a die coming off that collar of yours, Lola? Lola? Yeah, you get dye coming off your collar, look. No, yeah. Yes, dye. Mm-hmm. Never mind the stone. So we're meant to be here to relax and chill out, but it's very, very difficult to uh, relax for some reason because I've not done it for so long. my feet up and think of nothing. Well, it's now six o'clock. We've had our uh, we've had our dinner. A dry Lola. Starting to drizzle a little bit. Only a little bit though. So we're well fed, well walked, well rested. Lovely. There's always somebody watching, aren't you? Well, as you can see, we're both in the tent. It's uh, starting to rain a little bit. Not too bad, but enough to uh, get us wet. So, me and the lovely Lola have come into the tent to try and stay dry. Haven't we, Lola? Yes. Oh, and oh, the fire's still going, actually. Oh. So, um... Yep, yeah, we'll be here till... Either the rain stops. And, uh... We can sit by the fire again. We're off in the morning, so we're only having the one day. But we're just breaking in, myself and Lola. She's never camped before, she's never been in the tent before, so um, 
we'll see how she goes. But uh, any strangers about, she was barking earlier on there. I heard some people coming. Not a lot of people about, really. Well, it was just a, a small family. But she barked, let us know there was people coming, so that's a good thing. So, what have I learned? It's harder work than I remember. Go through a lot more wood. And I'm going to need more battery power for... Uh, the camera. So apart from that, she's found her bed. She's comfy. So that's it from us. I might talk to you later. Starry, starry night. Lovely, jolly. Lovely, jolly. That's Lola's Hill. Try to dry it. She wants to stay out of the water. You stay at the water. No chance. There we There's pink on the water there, look. Ooh, oh, zoom's taken off. Told you my, uh, Photography skills weren't great. So that's it. Night time. The rain stopped, so. We're all good. Well, it's five past ten, and uh, it's been lovely. A wee bit of rain, just a wee bit of rain, but uh, Jesus, it's Ireland. So, Anne Murphy, again, thank you very much, very much appreciated. I'm at the hall in Mayo, the hall. It's meant to be haunted. You know the one I'm talking about. So thank you very much again. And Mr. Carlyle, with your new dog, Tyson. I took some tips from you too, mate. So you're all very, very much in my uh, prayers appreciate it very much so now we're going to say nighty night from Mayo Good morning. First night done, wasn't it? And uh, it was actually very cold last night, absolutely freezing. So much so that 
I actually had Lola in the sleeping bag with me. She was shivering with the cold. She's got a fur coat on. So it was a bit, a bit of a rough night last night. I need more. I need to get more clothes for Lola. I need to get a blanket or something for Lola. I mean, inside the sleeping bag with me. My God. And then she was restless, so she had my Gore-Tex on as well. <laughs> I told you if it was a softy. I'm probably just as bad putting her in the sleeping bag with me, but it kept me warm. So, I'm going to get a bit, bit of a fire going, with some coffee, with some porridge, feed the dog, pack up, and get back to Galway. Catch you later. Okay, so now I've got the kettle on. Some milk for the porridge. Yep, milk for the porridge. And uh, semi packed up, ready to go for some of us. So thanks again, everybody, and uh, I hope you. Well, I just hope you like the video. Cheers. <laughs>